Hello everyone, Pallytub here. Welcome back to Sekiro. Uh, I checked the room where we killed Snake Eyes in, in the last episode. It had three gigantic statues in it that we could jump in between, but one statue was off limits. And there was also an open cave that I didn't quite seem to be able to maneuver myself into. Or like the, the opening of a tunnel or something like that. Uh, so that makes me believe we're actually going to loop back around into that room a little bit later. So I'm not going to concern myself too much with it right now. Instead, I wonder if we can jump down here, actually. Nope. Okay. Instead, I thought we could venture into a little bit of the unknown by heading into this foggy area up ahead. I'm already seeing... <laughs> A bunch of branching paths. Tree pun. Not even intended. Uh, unlike where we just jumped off a moment ago, it does appear that we are going to be able to touch the ground here. Is that a rooster? I think it is. I wonder if the rooster is there to inform like a marksman or a shinobi hunter or something. God, look at this shit. You can't see anything. So it looks like this might actually be divided into two sections. Oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why would, why would a rooster have to come conf- No noise, no noise, no noise, no noise. Everything's a-okay, dude. What do you mean I can't ledge grab that? Oh, God. Oh, it's just zombies. Okay. Wait, these almost look like illusions. Yeah, that guy was able to be killed. Do they just appear in the mist? Oh, shit. Or are they always in the mist? And I just can't see them until they get close to me. Either way, this seems to be the tutorial side of the mist. Those were all really easy enemies. I imagine some motherfucker in here is not going to be an easy enemy. Yo, I just got the finger on the, on the parry. It's ready to go. I was going to say, maybe they can't go to light. Maybe that's why they're down in the fog and why this area is actually illuminated. Uh, but it looks like there might be one here by the fire. Oh. Hello. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> if you know the path of Buddha, would you slay one who opposes it? One who opposes the Buddha? Correct. Did he kill that guy? <laughs> The one of whom I speak hides in an abandoned temple up ahead. He sealed away the village in a shadowy fog so that he can fool the villagers. An abandoned temple? Yes. It's an old building. <laughs> the door may be closed, but there should be a hole in the second floor. Thanks, man. More chickens here. So I wonder if the fog will go away if I if I defeat whatever guy this dude was just speaking about. So okay, I can't ledge climb but I can just jump up here. No 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 no. You don't make no noise. Oh, it goes even higher here. We can't grapple at this point, though. Or we can only grapple, we couldn't land. No noise, dude! Watch this just be a nice, serene rooster farm, and we're coming in here and we're fucking ruining it. I don't know, dude. I kind of want to explore more of the bottom. 
It seems like most of the good shit, most of the items are going to be down here. I did grapple up earlier, but... I thought I had already been here. Yeah. So the people in the mist don't stay dead. They're all illusions. They just gave me the thing so I could do Shinobi stuff. So that means these are all illusions. All right, well. I was gonna say we can't have some fucking combat fun with some illusions. Nobody, that's who. There's one behind me as well. Scrap iron, pellet. Hi, friend. Being able to just tap parry has taken a lot of the stress out of this game for me. Oh, fuck. Another headless. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, another headless. We can do this. We got some divine confetti. We'll get that stuff that removes... Where is it? Yeah, the pacifying agent. Uh, and some pellets. We're definitely gonna need some pellets. Oh, you know what might be a good idea too? Is just on a whim, what if it's an illusion, right? So let's just snap a seed. Not an illusion. We need to hit him to get this slow spell dispelled. We also need to not die to terror. Okay, good start, Pally, good start. Let's give this one more go. Good parries. Very good parries. I think I just dispelled it. I think I'll actually be able to move now. And got terrified again. Okay, so we were able to deal enough damage to at least push him out of the slow phase. I didn't realize I was actually building terror while I was fighting him. Don't the pacify agents protect you for a few seconds? Let's read the description of that just to make sure. I only have a couple more divine confetti, so this isn't going to be something that I can do a lot of attempts on. Uh, use to deal with those unspeakable deeds, reduce terror buildup, and increase terror resistance for a time. Okay. So, we'll get over to where we were before, which was right here. Oh, the fog is a lot uh, more impenetrable from the air. Once you get down here, it's not that hard to see. I did that shard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. I was getting a little worried, but you know what? I worked out. It's okay. There he is again. Um, can I drop in from above him? Perhaps? I was looking for anything I could have potentially grappled to there. I wasn't seeing anything. So, pellet, pacifying, confetti. Let's go, dude. Didn't block, that's okay. Block that one. I wasn't ready for him to re-fucking appear right next to me. That scared me really bad. Pacifying. We're blocking. Maybe it's better to dodge. Looks like another attack. Oh, that broke my guard completely. Uh, we need to heal, we need to heal, we need to heal. Hey, bud. There's one. We need to be ready. Oh shit. 
pacifying. He's getting faster. I'm certainly not getting any faster. Heal. Divine confetti just wore off. Oh, that's a really big problem. Okay, I'm panicking <laughs> really bad. So let's just, let's just use our menu and catch our breath. We're all right, you know? Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Let's go ahead and pacifying this. I'm actually... Oh, God. Pellet, 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 pellet. Gotta land your parries, dude. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes! Go, go, go! Woo! Drop my phone. That's okay. Oh, God damn. Fallen head of the spirit of Gachin. Suppresses sound and presence, making the user harder to detect, but consumes spirit emblems if used repeatedly. Oh, second headless fight fucking down. I'm yelling too much and made Pepper wonder what the fuck I'm doing in this office. This actually looks like it may be the end of this path as well. So it looks like the fog potentially led us directly into that. Like that's that's the meaning of the fog. That's where we're Woo! Woo guys! Whoa there. Relax, okay? I was gonna say the only thing we haven't seen is this lower path here. But it looks like it's just a couple dudes. A couple of illusions hanging out. Man, that tracked very well. Okay. Then the only thing left to do, because I've already cleared this part out, is to go across the trees. This is the other side of that little valley that we were in. I feel pretty confident that I explored most of it. We're back in stealth. And that is some... That is a dope-ass skill. Just turns a ton of blood into smoke. Well, more mist lies ahead. I wonder if there's going to be another headless here. Even though I'm in the mist, they're not able to detect me right away, so... We can still use some of our stealth. Oh, three dudes right here, though. It's just below. Uh, when times call for death by one's own hand. No thanks, man. So I imagine the main path is going to be leading me towards... Ooh. That building that we just saw. Hey, bud. So we're gonna check out where these other paths wind to. Remember, all of these illusions can come back. They're just illusions. Let's see if he'll turn around. Didn't know there'd be dogs. Oh, there'd be a lot of dogs. This is okay. We're fine. There's an archer above me. The dogs. Normally, dog attacks are super duper easy to parry because you can see them coming from a mile away. These guys don't appear until they're right on top of you in the mist. Beautiful. This is what I wanted. I wish I could... You know why I want to reflect this stuff? I just put the connection together. It's because this is what you do in Jedi Fallen Order. You see a projectile coming at you, you just knock it back at the dude. It's really satisfying. I feel like they nailed that part of the game. Bl reflecting blaster fire, it's so fucking good. Uh, dead end, but we can grapple. And that, coincidentally, leads away from the temple, which I thought was going to be the main area here. What's this item? Gunpowder. Bite down. 
Contact medicine. Hello. Getting that life back after every kill like that is so useful. We have two skill ups available to us. Um, I'm debating if I want to increase the effectiveness of our gourd again. That'll be five whole levels, though. I don't know where I am. Actually, I really got turned around. So this is the entrance. This is where we jump down. Are they already coming back? It should be three guys here. Okay. So I kind of know where I am. I'm just going to keep spamming. We're fine. We're fine. I blocked that thing that was supposed to be unblockable. So this seems like where I'm supposed to be. And isn't this where that guy who was by the fire told us where to go? He wanted us here. Oh, I just saw something really sad. And knowing the developer of this game, it's probably the case. Is this like a suicide forest kind of thing? Are the spirits here spirits who used bite down to kill themselves? Is that why we're finding bite down on so many bodies? Oh, that looked bad. I think this is, was the higher up area that I saw. Hug wall. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Is anyone actually coming? No, we're fine. I think this is what we saw earlier, but now that I'm here and looking down, I'm unsure. Yeah, I'm lost as shit, dude. Oh, another snap seed. So that's the fire the dude was at. Apparently I could have gone in from this way. You know what, that'll actually make this easier. Okay, I just ran up this side that we were on before. A lot harder to get up here this time. This is just where I did a really easy wall jump up the first time. Um, just to be sure I knew where we were going. I wanted to make sure this was the same area I was looking at before. And it is. Now, unfortunately, we were gone long enough that most of the enemies respawned. <laughs> so the spirits are back. But that's okay. We made it through. Now, there is a really big guy by a fire. Is that the drunkard? That's the drunkard. Huh. It is, right? I mean, they're calling him a glutton now, but... Hi! That's a fucking monkey! He has monkey friends! Surely they can climb, right? Yeah. Yeah, they have little hats on! <laughs> I love that! Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. Don't love that as much. So, does he have the same mechanics as... The drunkard from the past? Is it the drunkard from the past? Hey, bud. Okay, we'll just get out of that. See if we can ignite him. Here we go. Oh, there's the grab. Let's see how hard he hits. Oh, pretty hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> pretty fucking hard. Tried to ignite him again while he was drinking. Looks like it just connected. His health's actually getting really low here. You may recall. Oh, God. Just the upswing of his kick actually was able to knock me out. You may recall. That the last time we faced him, we did not face him alone. So we're actually having our first one-on-one -on -one here. Good deflect. There we go. First one down. Just need to do it again. Hopefully he doesn't get more mad in this phase. He's drinking. 
Let's uh, clean this up really fast. Pellet, go back in. I cannot light him on fire any longer. I have a feeling he's not gonna do any Makiri counters. So anytime we see that can't block thing, I'm gonna assume I can either jump on his head or I have to dodge out of the way. That hurt. All right, easy heal. He's actually really opening himself up to damage quite a lot here. Yeah, I could have jumped on his head there. Yeah, that attack hits on the way up. That's crazy. Almost got him, almost got him, almost got him. I don't know what that was. We can rest, we can rest, we can rest, quick! Take him down, dude! <laughs> Do I get another prayer bead? Unrefined sake. And prayer bead. Oh, I wonder if I bring this sake back to that guy in that tower. I wonder if he'll tell me a little, give me some more insight into where I might be heading. That seems pretty likely to me. That seems very likely to me. Nice. So we have a guy. All we got to do is trade him booze. <gasps> Woo! All we got to do is trade him booze and it'll help us out. I'm assuming this is the death. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, I think after that last fight, I'll see myself out. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, we're at the pavilion. This is where I thought the game was trying to get us to go. Doesn't look like I'm that far off. There's people hanging from the tree. Uh-oh, how many dudes are here? Some more oil. He said to get in this from the second story, right? Oh, dogs. We're okay. My issue is they just appear like out of fucking nowhere. We haven't been on the backside of this territory yet. Of this little area. So I actually don't know what's lurking in the mist waiting for us. I like this dude behind us. Okay. Oh, three dudes. Three guys. Three guys. Three guys. I actually think I know where I am now, at least. That's something. Fuck. Not being able to see the animation of the dude in the back makes this really difficult. Oh. I just need to do damage, dude. Fuck it. I was trying to play really defensive, I think. I just gotta beat him up. They're just axe dudes, they're not that hard. <sighs> All that for a ceramic shard. Okay, so this is the tree. This is a little bit lower than the building. And then we need to climb up if we're able to try to get in. I'm at the front left of the building. Those are the three guys I thought I fought already. When in fact, I fought three other guys down in this pit. Those are the ones that beat me up pretty good. And they've already respawned. I can't figure out a way to climb here. I'm really struggling with it. I thought maybe I could cut that down by throwing some shuriken at it. It, it didn't do anything. 
And I don't see any grapple points that can actually lead me up to this tree. There were two of those items that let you use your thing sitting here. You don't think this is an illusion, do you? No. Thought maybe I could walk through that wall or some shit. So it looks like there's a, f a flat landing there that would allow me to jump into the tree, but that I can't access here. So maybe the area over by the drunkard loops back around into this area. That's what I'm going to check right now. The monkeys are alive again. But not the man himself. Oh yeah, this looks promising. I didn't see this the first time we were here. So grapple onto this. Grapple up here. Let's make sure I'm not missing any items. I haven't seen any. This looks like a flat landing. And... Oh, don't you just fucking love it when you're right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is there an opening here? Wow, there's a lot of fucking light bugs there. What's up? What's going on with that? Dude, you need to call your exterminator. That's disgusting. What the fuck is that? I mean, it actually seems very pleasant. Can we let this one live? No. All right. I'm just going to assume it doesn't like fire. Because my first instinct was to burn it. Please tell me that wasn't the mechanic. I swear to God, I just wanted to burn it with fire. Is it that fucking easy? Lump of great wax. A lump of fatty wax that has been formed inside the body and turned pitch, pitch black. Used for occultist prosthetic tools upgrades for an advanced nature. A long-suffering illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run water over the site. Wait. Does this mist go away? Oh my god. So... Whoa! That is so cool! So, it was just playing a song to cause an illusion here? So I was literally seeing what it wanted me to see with that song. Wow, that was a really cool reveal. I enjoyed that quite a lot. Well, now do we have to go over the two zones that I haven't seen already? Because the mist was there? <laughs> I'll do a quick lap around this one and see if I spot anything. What's this dude by the fire say now? I've gotten terribly old, but this old man would like to see Lord Buddha return to his temple once more. That's it? Man, this place was fucking wild. Oh, I was running around everywhere looking for another path that might take me forward, but it was right here in front of me. I just wasn't looking at the trees. So straight ahead from there leads down into this area. Straight ahead from that illusionary boss where I turned back from leads straight down into this area. Now, I don't think I've been here before. This isn't looking familiar at all. But everything was also covered in a mist. Nothing. Oh, and a vendor! Oh my god, it's been a while since I've seen a vendor. Where are we? We're at Maibu Village. Lovely! Sounds beautiful! 
what? No, 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 no. Is this a shinobi hunter? I guess I'll never fucking know. Because I murdered the living shit out of him. He was very keen. Oh, treasure carp scale. That reminds me, I should go back to uh, the estate and see if we can actually skill up that. Get anything useful from having all of these carp scales. Care hey, bud. Where you find the departed, you even those who go ahead. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip over all that, but you know, once I started, how do you stop? Oh, he sells more scales. He also sells adamantite scrap, dragon spring offering. Oh, this is sake to bring back to that guy. Yo, let's Where load up, man. <laughs> let's load up. I'm ready. Care. Uh, can I sell things to you? Dope. Take my bulging coin purse and this. Oh, I have 10 of these? Here, take five. All right, we got five grand to spend. Purchase items. What do we want? Dragon Spring Sake. A bottle of crystal clear sake. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. Okay. Pretty much the exact same thing as the other one. We'll spend a thousand on that just to say we did. We'll spend 1,200 on that just to say we did. Purple Gourd. A curved modded purple gourd filled with medicinal water refills upon rest, reduces terror status buildup, and increases terror resistance. Uh, seems useful. I don't know if I'm going to use it right now, but it seems good to have. And that was all of our money. We still have everything else tied up Maybe in those satchels. So I actually think that was a pretty... That was good. We, we were relatively efficient with that. What are you doing? What kind of an enemy are you? You just look like an old lady that I stabbed through the heart. There's a few of you, huh? Well, there's certainly not the most intimidating combatants. She just threw a rock at me. Oh, they're the, za they're the zombies. That explains a little bit. All right, moving forward again next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.